Thrace. This is the first division of the Governor's Cup Trot for three-year-old trotters. Ohio State Fair Stakes, a purse of $23,400, a Toronto one mile. Exacta trifecta early pick three wagering begins here. Field of seven, no changes. Number one is Big Charmer by the Gates Mill Stable of Aurora, Ohio, and Pound Tanny of South Euclid, Ohio, trained by Mark Deaton with Greg Grismore. Number two is Magic Chris by Diana Lynn Malone of Waterford, Ohio, trained by Guy Malone, Dave Hawk. The three is Sterling Spur by Houghton, Houghton, Shapiro, and Groden. They're all of the Buckeye State, trained by D. Houghton with Jeff Fount. The four is Give em the Axe by Geiler, Wingfield, and Ikas and McCoy, all of Ohio, trained and driven by Sandy Beatty. Number five is KC39 by Patricia and Kevin Cross of Macedonia, Ohio, trained by Steve Cross, Dan Ross. The six is CSI Turn and Burn by the CSI Farm of Hickory, North Carolina, trained by Bill Mount Pleasant with Sam Chipnoble III. And for the outside of the seven is Golden Riddle, owned by Murray, Sherman, Walter, and Leisure. They're all of the Buckeye State, trained by Kent Sherman, Brett Miller. Ian the Sulky. That is for the Governor's Cup trot. They're all fan trotting and firing away for the lead from the middle of the racetrack. There's the three Sterling Spur. Right alongside is KC39. Driving up from the outside. CSI turn and burn. Coming away in fourth is Give em the Axe. Trotting in five. That is Big Charmer. Dropping in in sixth is Golden Riddle in seventh and trailing the field. That is Magic Crest. As they wheel around the first turn and over to the opening quarter and Sterling Spur and Fout on the front end here by two. To the inside KC39 is trotting in second. CSI turn and burn. Trots in third opening quarter in 28 and one fifth they'll trot by the stands for the first time and head on down to the half and they're chasing sterling spur on the front end here by two to the inside kc 39 trots in second csi turn and burn give them the access first over the outside in fourth who's towing along big charmer second over the outside in five third over on the outside in sixth is golden riddle and seventh and trailing the field is magic crest as they step around the clubhouse turn and race over to the half on top of the field sterling spur leads them to the half they're half Way home in 58 seconds flat, or 59 seconds flat, rather, off an opening panel at 28 and 1. Off the turn and driving down the backside, and Sterling Spur is going to be put to the test right now by Give Him the Accent, who is trotting up on the outside furiously here and is trotting on. Second over the outside, trotting in three and jumping it off stride there. That is KC 39, or rather, that is Big Charmer as they wheel towards the three quarter mile mark of the race. And on top, Give Him the Axe opens up by four, three quarters and one. 28 flat. They'll drop the final turn and head for home and give them the axe with the lead here. But now bearing down, Golden Riddle is coming to him and coming on with every single stride as they turn to the top of Power Alley. Less than an eighth of a mile to go. And down the stretch they come. Give them the axe on the inside. Golden Riddle is coming to him and coming on still as they drive towards the final 16th. Give them the axe. Give them the axe in front. Finishing second, Golden Riddle. It's going to be KC 39 for third time of the mile. 157 three fifths. Give him the axe and a new lifetime mark. Track side of the winner's circle. The official winner of the fourth race, the first division of the Governor's Cup Trot for three year old Colt Trotters, Ohio State Fair Stakes. Purse of $23,400 and a new lifetime mark. 157 and three fifths, establishing the fifth win in 2003. Here's the four. Give him the axe. A three year old bay coat by Umbro Iliad out of an ex handle Andy Marish. She by Arnie's Exchange by Charlie Geiler. Wingfield, Anikas, and McCoy, all of the Buckeyes state, nicely trained and driven by Sandy Beatty. Give them the axe, 157, three fifths. In the winner's circle to make the trophy presentation, on behalf of the Ohio State Fair, Commissioners Harold Crow, Richard Ricker. Also in the winner's circle, the Vice President of Sound Downs, Mrs. Laverne Hill.